Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening traders. This is John Howell speaking. Today we are going to view NAB, that's National Australia Bank, on the Australian stock market. We are currently looking at a weekly chart, and we can see that by putting some trend lines on, we just had some nice looking bullish trend line coming up through there. We've had a nice resistance, a bit of resistance, and now we can see it's becoming a support at the moment. So it's just basically a nice looking bullish upward trend at the moment. We also can see we have a nice double top in price. That's a big reversal pattern. So uh, if it does keep falling down, we could start to get some downside action on this stock. But as we speak right now, we are just going sideways. Okay, we just gone from down here, bounced off support, came up, had a bit of resistance up here, came down, bounced off support. So let's go over to our daily chart and let's look what's happening on our daily chart. Let's bring up some volume. And let's have a good look at our volume as well. We can see that we've been just going sideways basically since th since this year. We're going down, up, down, and now we're at a big support level. So the one thing we've got to look at is like, okay, if we wanted to view this stock as a directional trade up or down, which way would we like it to go? Well, at the moment, we can see we have a, look at this, this is a trough, lower trough, lower trough, okay? The sellers are still in control as we speak. Peak, lower peak, lower peak, okay? So the sellers are still in control. But look at this, look what's happening right here. If this is our first higher trough, higher trough means the buyers are starting to come into that stock, this might be looking to go to the upside. Now the volume starting to pick up as well. So if we can get like a nice day, a nice little higher trough out of this, then we might be looking to get to some, get to the upside a little bit, maybe around the $39 mark where this resistance line is. Maybe that's where it is. So also you can do is you can grab a Fibonacci tool, go from the high down through to the low. And if it does break if it does break this level around here, uh, that level around there, then we are probably looking at probably getting about the $40 mark around there, around the $40, just below the $40 mark. So there is a lot of resistance up there. Uh, it's, at a lot, it's at a really big support right now. Though if it did start breaking down, like this, this just continued down, continuing going over the falls, as I, as I call it, going over the falls. Let's see what would happen if it did. Well, let's have a look at this. What you do is you, you have a double top here. This is the neckline. This is the support line, basically. Now, if that is broken, if this, this, this is the resistance up here, and this is the, the neckline, if that is broken, we could be looking to get some really downside action out of this. And I mean we're talking some big side, big downside action out of this. We're probably looking at getting uh, uh, probably down to the between the 33 and 35 dollar mark. Uh, just let's bring up our weekly chart, and we're probably looking around about there. Had a bit of resistance here, resistance support. So if we do break out of here to the downside, we're probably looking around about this level here, around about say the 34 dollar mark. Uh, this is a really nice, good-looking setup, head and shoulder. Sorry, a double top is showing that it wants to go to the downside. If it does break down, we're probably looking to get to the thirty-three dollar, probably thirty-four dollar at least, and probably a bit more down to here as well, because uh, that's what the the double top is showing. That that's where the projection will be down there. So maybe we can get down there uh, sometime this year, which is two thousand eight. Uh, so that that's what we that's what we can see on this stock right now. Again, we having we do have a higher trough, so that's that's showing that it is a is that a support. A higher trough is showing that the buyers are now trying to kick this put kick this back to the upside basically. And uh lower peak, lower peak showing that the sellers are still in control. So as soon as this makes as soon as this makes a a close above this line here. Okay, a close above this line here, then we probably be looking at projecting up to this $39 mark. If it does close above there, probably looking about there. 
uh, and then we can get some get some projections to the upside after that as well. So this is NAB. Have a good look at that because it, I reckon NAB's um, setting up for some some pretty good trades. Whether you want to go down or whether whether you want to go up. Please do take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you visit tradinginvestingforyou.com where there is loads of free information that is giving away right now. There's weekly wraps on the US and the Australian market. There's newsletters every single week with the must see information. You get a video six days a week, every single week, viewing different stocks on the Australian stock market. So make sure you do yourself a favor, go to tradinginvestingforyou.com and start to receive this free information now. Trade in the stock market is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee your profit from the information provided. The information in these videos is meant for educational purposes only. That being said, I've been trading the market profitably for many, many years. So please, do your own homework and make sure you look after your current financial situation.